To understand how Lyrica helps manage neuropathic pain, such as diabetic peripheral neuropathy and post-herpetic neuralgia, as well as sensory hypersensitivity pain, also known as centralized pain, such as fibromyalgia, we must first understand the pain pathway and the different types of pain. When your body senses pain due to trauma or inflammation, pain signals travel through your peripheral nervous system to your central nervous system, which includes your spinal cord and brain. Once in your brain, these signals are processed, which includes sending signals via the descending spinal cord tract to help modulate the pain. On a microscopic level, pain signals travel through this pain pathway along a network of cells called neurons. Each neuron has a sending and receiving end. On the sending end of some neurons are voltage-gated calcium channels, which act as tiny valves that open to allow in calcium ions. When a neuron senses injury, rapid bursts of electrical currents, called action potentials, shoot down the neuron and open the calcium channels, causing calcium ions to rush in. The calcium ions then cause vesicles full of neurotransmitters to fire toward the next neuron. These neurotransmitters, which in this case are responsible for relaying the pain signal, spark action potentials in the next neuron, which then fires its neurotransmitters. This chain reaction continues all the way to the brain, where it is processed or perceived as pain. When your body is no longer experiencing pain due to injury, fewer action potentials occur. Thus, calcium channels open less frequently. Fewer pain neurotransmitters are fired, and the network of neurons along the pain pathway calms down. Now that we understand the pain pathway, let's look at the different types of pain. The first is nociceptive pain. This type of pain occurs when your body's tissues and organs, such as skin and muscle, experience injury. Arthritis, sprains, and bone fractures are examples. In these instances, special neurons in the affected areas send pain signals through the pain pathway. Nociceptive pain is usually time-limited and may be controlled with over-the-counter analgesic treatments. The next type of pain is called neuropathic pain. Unlike nociceptive pain, which originates from site of injury, neuropathic pain is caused by the neurons themselves. Certain diseases may damage neurons, leaving them in a sensitized and hyperexcited state, which causes pain. Even in the absence of the original injury, these damaged neurons may continue to fire, and your brain still processes these signals as pain. Examples of neuropathic pain are diabetic neuropathy and postherpetic neuralgia. Neuropathic pain is often chronic and may not respond well, if at all, to over-the-counter analgesic treatments. The last type of pain, called sensory hypersensitivity, also known as centralized pain, is pain that originates from dysregulated, hyperexcited neurons within the brain. Unlike neuropathic pain, these neurons do not appear to be outwardly damaged. Fibromyalgia is an example. This type of pain is often described as if the volume of the entire central nervous system were turned up to the highest possible setting. Sensory hypersensitivity is often chronic and may not respond well, if at all, to over-the-counter analgesic treatments. Pregabalin. The active ingredient in Lyrica affects the hyperexcited state of damaged and or dysregulated neurons along the pain pathway and is therefore effective in reducing neuropathic pain due to diabetic peripheral neuropathy and postherpetic neuralgia, as well as sensory hypersensitivity pain also known as centralized pain, due to fibromyalgia. Lyrica works by binding to the alpha-2 delta subunit of calcium channels on neurons. When Lyrica binds to the calcium channels on a hyperexcited neuron, it modulates the influx of calcium ions, even in the presence of frequent action potentials. This means fewer calcium ions enter the neuron, fewer pain neurotransmitters stimulate the next neuron, and the network of hyperexcited neurons returns to a calmer state. Because of this mechanism of action, which essentially entails calming hyperexcited neurons, Lyrica is approved in the U.S. as an effective treatment for managing the neuropathic pain of diabetic peripheral neuropathy, post-herpetic neuralgia, 
neuropathic pain due to spinal cord injury, as well as sensory hypersensitivity pain, also known as centralized pain, due to fibromyalgia. It is thought that the same mechanism of action of Lyrica is also responsible for managing partial onset seizures in adults with epilepsy.